honeydew, mango, sour diesel. Filled with fruity flavor, these sorts of vape cartridges also contain enough concentrated THC to send you to the emergency room with a psychotic episode. Gloucester Township Police seized about 3,000 marijuana oil cartridges during a traffic stop last week. Just as illegal as the leaf form of pot, three out-of-state men now face a slew of charges. But that's not why police held a news conference. Perhaps most importantly, we strongly want to encourage parents to speak with their children about vaping and the ease at which they can ingest marijuana with these devices. Cleverly labeled pandemic, drug experts say vape pens like these are heading in the direction of creating a pandemic in schools. A 2016 Surgeon General report showed a five-year increase of 900 percent in teen use of electronic cigarettes and vape pens. When you're dealing with something that looks like something that could be t typical office supplies, no one's aware of what to do. Timber Creek High School Principal Kasha Giddens says she and other school leaders throughout the country are in a battle against vaping products that are discreet, appeal to teens, and can contain drugs. If you've got something that smells like pineapples or blueberries and maybe you go into the bathroom after students use the bathroom, you might think it's just body spray. Police and school officials say they need parents to help teach kids about the dangers of vaping, especially since marijuana cartridges are becoming more available, not only from illegal producers, but from other states where marijuana is legal. And since New Jersey is considering legalizing pot, teens could have even greater access to the drug. Our approach today is to get parents to speak with their children is the first step before if and when legalization happens in New Jersey, we need to have this, this issue under control before that happens.